one of us has to change. It's not gonna be me. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of The Dope Show for Monday, May 14th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really full show for you today, so let's dive right in. Uh, this past weekend, there actually wasn't a whole lot of events for Friday and Saturday, but they made up for it on mm, Sunday. Yes. Um, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose put on a Drag Your Mother to Brunch um, special event at Sherlock Holmes at the University um, for Mother's Day. Mother-daughter duo, Vanity and Morgan Fair, hosted the event, and I, I hear it was just a, a really good time. Uh, we were actually unable to make it, so there are no videos of the event, but uh, people had a good time, everybody had a good meal, and... Um, and they raised a bunch of money for the court, so you can't go wrong with that. That is the important part. So, uh, congratulations to them on their fabulous event, and I hope that uh, some of you were able to check that out. And if they ever do something like that again, hopefully we'll be able to make it, so we'll be able to bring you those videos. Because we enjoy going to those events that uh, aren't the normal events that you expect on Dragging Your Heels. We did get to film two events last night, though. Um, our boy Braden was at uh, the Buckingham down on White Avenue and filmed Homicidal at the Buck. Yeah. Uh, hosted by Little Fair. Um, she, uh, she always turns it out. She always has a good time. Yes. Um, Braden was talking to us afterwards and saying that he had a really good time. Uh, the videos are now up, so you can check them out like we already did. Um, Lilith did uh, Angel, which is one of my favorites. Bad Muffy! <laughs> <laughs> love it. Um, and Lilith also brought out a new number, Words of Love, which right? is always really fun. Right. Uh, yeah, it was cute. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, she always turns out good new numbers. I love that girl. If you haven't ever noticed, I'm a bit of a fan. <laughs> um, speaking of people I'm a fan of, Lourdes the Mary Virgin was also in that show. Um, she did uh, My Heart Belongs to Daddy and uh, Lost in Translation. Yes, uh, yes. Her, her French lesson <laughs> one where she's listening to the song from the lip sync for your life. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. And again, and another crowd ate them up. Of course. Of course. Of course. And uh, Chelsea Horrendous did start wearing purple. Mm -hmm. And my wig color choice was completely coincidental, completely not planned. coincidental. Yes, but don't worry, <laughs> I did staple it to her head. <laughs> Love you, girl. Um, um, there was also some great performances from Gogo, yes. um, Science Fair, Secretion Menora, and a particular one that really seemed to strike your fancy. <laughs> Jesse Hannibal did this mermaid number, and it was very cute, very Disney, and we love it so much. Um, I love that there was a, a little cut of uh, Poor Unfortunate Souls in there, brought it back memories for me. And um, yeah, girl, we loved your mermaid number. Yeah, it was really cute. <laughs> and again, of course, it was so on point with Jesse. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't Ariel. It was Ariel from the hood, yo. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was amazing. It was, it was such a classic number. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to Homicidal for, for yet another successful show. Across town at Evolution Wonder Lounge. It was a Review Royale. Review Royale! Hosted or co-hosted by last time's winner, Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. And, and two-time winner, JBR, JonBenet Rounds Me. Uh, yeah, and they both did a couple of numbers, and uh, it was classic, it was fun. Uh, mm -hmm. JBR did, did, did some... <laughs> I got to cringe. <laughs> so, you know, it was a usual JBR number. Um, <laughs> Pocahontas had some great looks and a couple of really good numbers. He's really starting to come into his own as a performer, as oh, yeah. his win last time with Gogo yeah. um, definitely showed. Uh, and yeah, it was a, it was a good time. Um, the thing with the Review Royale, um, I love the fact that it is the chance for a lot of the up and coming or new queens mm -hmm. or whatever to have that platform to walk out and show everybody what they can do. Yeah. Sometimes it can be hit or miss, as any show can. Hell, I'm in some of them, and hell, they're all misses. But um, some of them can be hit or miss. But I really felt last night, JBR said it on the mic too, like people had really put some thought into their numbers. These weren't things that were just thrown together at the last mm -hmm. minute. Like people had definitely been putting some thoughts into them. And I, I want to congratulate everybody as well because it was a good show, it was a good turnout, and uh, <clears throat> honestly it's too bad y'all didn't make a little bit of money off that because y'all deserve it. So, I, I, uh, yeah, congratulations to everyone on a fantastic show. It really was awesome. Yeah, it was such a, it, it makes, 
and it really does show that the review royales are needed because mm -hmm. it brings out some really cool numbers, some mm -hmm. more. Well, yeah, it just, it, it, when someone is hosting, people try to kind of um, take their number and, and tweak it to the host a lot of them. You know what I mean? Like if, mm -hmm. if Chelsea's hosting, you're probably going to try to do something a, a little more spooky or absurd or, you know what okay. I mean, kind of thing. Um, whereas the Review Royale, it's anything is yeah. open, right? There it's is such no... an open show that you can practically do anything. Speaking <laughs> of doing absolutely anything. <laughs> Uh, we actually want to talk about each one of them uh, because because it really was a fantastic show. Mm -hmm. um, I want to start with Moxie. Um, yeah, Moxie moved really well. On she did. Stage she's last she's come a long way. Um, it was Lady Tenderflake that was actually talking about her on the on the ride home and saying and saying how much Moxie had impressed him and mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. So again, congratulations to Moxie. Like it was just it was a it was a good yeah. number. It was fun. Um, Good movement. Your makeup looked really good. Like it was, yeah. Yeah. Um, Portia Lynn. I was, thank you. I was gonna mention Portia Lynn as well, and I didn't want to like jump uh, in there. Portia Lynn is a. Well, she's. Ruby and I were sitting there talking, and, and and we both were just again saying just how far she's come and and, and how. Uh, She's got the moves. She's got. She's got the ideas. She's got. The, I love the breastplate. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> and, and Portia Lynn doesn't do a whole lot of Sunday reviews. No. Uh, she's in the Dragon Youth shows, yeah. and she does the Review Royales whenever mm -hmm. they come up, but those are months apart. Mm -hmm. And it was really great to see her out again, and clearly the practice is doing her well, because yeah. she's improving so and, much. And we certainly noticed, so I hope some of the people that actually get a chance to book shows notice too. Yeah. <laughs> like, we watch a lot of drag. A yeah. Lot of drag. So, so uh, it helps us tell when someone's performing, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> congratulations. It was, it was a really good number. Um, speaking of really good numbers, and obviously someone that definitely puts some thought into their numbers, uh, Margaret Snatcher oh, uh, yay. Uh, <laughs> came out and uh, Tina? Yes, Tina. She's super fun. <sighs> I'm enjoying Margaret a lot. Yeah. Like, uh, it's like drag mother Ivy League. Anyways, go ahead. I, I, it was a fun number. Uh, definitely character driven. Um, I, I got a little bit of a vibe from a Tiffany T. Valentine from the look uh, on the face kind of thing uh, from the paint. but. Uh, it, it was a good. It was a good number. It was fun. Um, ended up getting second place, I think. Uh, so congratulations to Margaret. Uh, and you didn't fall off the stage. <laughs> um, and or Ginny, um, running faggot, running free. <laughs> I was probably one of the few people in the building that knew what that song was. And I mean, kids in the hall are just. Oh. Uh -huh. Anyway, it was fabulous, and I very funnily, I actually sent that t a couple of weeks ago to Dixon. It was just like, did you know about this kind of thing? Like, because this is an amazing number. Anyway, so I was very happy to see it show up. Uh, so congratulations to Anne and for throwing it in there, and then mixing it in with I want to take it to the gay bar and everything. Yeah. It was a it was a fun <laughs> it was a fun number, and yeah, as I said, I I was living for it. So congratulations <laughs> on that, girl. You definitely had uh -huh. me. Um. The next person that I've got down here is I Gotta Go. Yes, I Gotta Go is I gotta amazing. Go. Uh, uh, it was the debut of I Gotta Go. Um, and the I, long awaited debut. Yes, long awaited. Oh. And it's someone in the community that's uh, been coming to shows for the last couple of years and, and is um, very loyal and, and, yeah, definitely knows his stuff. And I have to say congratulations to him because it was one of the best debuts of someone that. Really, like it was tremendous. Yeah. You knew exactly what you wanted to do, and 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 you nailed it. Yeah. Um, For a first timer, like you nailed it. Yeah. And I was sitting again with Ruby, and we were just kind of like, when did Sister Mary learn how to dance? <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, it was a fabulous, fabulous number. So congratulations, and as they said last night, welcome to the club. And again, ended up winning. So. Um, Fantastic job, and and uh, yeah, we were so happy that we were able to be a part of that, and 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 to be able to capture it for you all. So um, definitely check out that video on theirs. Definitely um, check it out. Someone that has definitely piqued our interest over the last couple of weeks, uh, Shayla Zalwuderu. Um, yeah, totally. Winner of the amateur queen competition yeah, last week for the ISCWR. 
um, and then was in this one tonight. And I'm gonna put it right out there. I voted for Shay Lazon last night. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought she looked absolutely stunning, and her performance of and I'm telling you was yes. probably one of the best renditions of that number I have ever yeah. seen. And like I've the seen lip sync. Sorry. Sorry, just I've seen some some really talented people do that number, and I really yeah. thought you absolutely nailed it. Ruby and I again, Ruby and I were sitting there just uh, we were a clamped. <laughs> yeah. um, it was it was fabulous. The only read that I will give you is the fact that that's the second time I've seen you perform, and you're still not wearing heels. And if there's a medical reason or something that you can't do it, then by all means, don't worry about it. And maybe it's not me to say it, but people are going to expect it eventually. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying people are probably going to expect it anyway. Unless it's a character thing like Pocahontas. Anyway, people like heels. Even kitten heels, girl. Anyway, fabulous job. You also enjoy Shea Lazan, yeah? Yes. And uh, for like your second performance that we've seen on Drag Your Heels, like, it was great. The lip sync quality to it was really superb. Mm -hmm. like that. Check out the lip sync quality on yep. that And I Am Telling You number. It's fabulous. Yes. And uh, for a new queen. She's yeah. brand new, like right yeah. out the gate. Yeah. No, I, 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 I completely and utterly believed that you were singing that song. That is the illusion that I look for. Uh, uh, again, as a singer, it, when someone's holding a long note and then they bite it off and like because they're getting ready for the next line but the note's still going on, that drives me insane. But you nailed it every time. I, I watched for it. Anyway, congratulations. Um, so yeah, Shayla Zahn also did fantastic. Speaking of new performers that uh, had performed in the ISCWR amateur pageant, um, Artesia performed last oh. night again. And, uh, and girl, it's more like Altesia, because I mean, <laughs> girl, oh. Anyway, uh, it was it was stunning. And performing with your guy, too, was, was extra sweet. I, I really enjoyed seeing him get into it, too. Um, so yeah, congratulations. It was smoking hot. Um, there, it was, it was. There, was. there was a bit of a wing issue, and you know what? Like, who cares? Um, <laughs> like it was, yeah. it was fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was just, it was so good. And again, obviously choreographed, obviously planned. Oh, we're in um, practice. Yeah, you can tell like, the work that went into this number with all the practice. Absolutely, you can tell. Absolutely. So congratulations, and we were we were honored to be there for your second time in a review royale. First time we actually managed to capture it on film. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Uh, Great, great job and congratulations. Um, Arya Ari. Was that right? Arya Ivory. Ar, 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 Ar. <laughs> do that again. Arya, Arya Ivory. <laughs> I don't know why you're a pirate now, but apparently you are. That's um, not your drag character. You now yeah, must yeah, dress as a pirate. <laughs> it's a thing. You must do um, it You were fabulous last night. Um, the broken doll realness, like walking down on there, like, oh, well, anyway, uh, it was so good. Your movement was, was impeccable and your look was great and, um, yeah, musicality was fun. I, I thoroughly enjoyed your number. Like, mm -hmm. there was, it was just such a good night of, yeah. of drag. And Arya, I was living for that death drop. Mm -hmm. You watch, like, you just drop out of the camera and it was just amazing. I, I relived that moment. So many times over the last eight hours. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, congratulations, because again, fabulous, fabulous number, and we're we're so happy to have more of your your stuff on our on our channel. Yay! Um, someone that uh, we got brand new footage of that we have never had on our channel before is someone from Fort McMurray. Right. right. Simmer down. Simmer down. Um, fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed simmer down. I don't want her to simmer down. I wanted to boil up. I thought that was fun. Yeah. Um. She's a man, Maury. But she feels <laughs> like a woman. That's right. Uh, yeah, really, really fun, interesting mix with lots of little. Yeah, it was good. It was yes. good and uh, uh, good look, wonderful contour. Yeah, the music mix was very well put together. Yeah. I enjoyed how I told the story. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. It was definitely I like, fun. I like when the songs go together to tell a story. Yeah. That's something that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it I, adds to the theater aspect of yeah, drag. Yeah, if I'm if I'm editing something together and there's like six different songs and none of them have any connection in my head, I just don't know what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. That mix made sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Miss Indecisive also performed. She did a Gaga number? Yes. Born This Way. Uh, it was fun. Uh, but definitely, again, had practiced, knew her moves, had her choreo. Um, mm -hmm. Look was good. I, I'm really enjoying Miss Indecisive. I, yes. I'm glad that she's getting lots of opportunities. Yeah, I'm glad we're seeing a lot more of her. 
for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. um, someone else that's definitely been a part of a lot of the review reals um, came in and, and finished it off. Um, Never Be There uh, was uh, our, our last performer of the evening. Um, last night she performed as Filet of Flesh. That's true. Yeah, she did. I think that was what it was called. Um, yeah, anyway, so a knife came out <laughs> and knife. Ruby and I almost <laughs> ran for the hills. Uh, I would have ducked, but I was behind the camera. Right? You could have made it out alive. I might have. There you was a table between me and the assailant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I would have died and you would have made it out alive. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, no. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun number. Uh, and, and again, it's always so artsy. It's, it's often quite dark, but it's also very it's art house. Dark. Yeah, grind house. Like it's, yes. it's dirty. Uh, but that's the point. That's, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be dirty rock. Dirty, I don't know. It's, it's punk. It's punk. It is very punk. Any anyway. number of yours is punk now that I think of it. Um, so anyway, that's, that's what is it, that's what you help represent in the in the community and right? everyone's got their own style absolutely trademarks <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> know your brand you need to sell those or something mm -hmm. anyway so, anyways that was all last week <laughs> do you want to talk at all this episode or yeah yeah let's give the book to me <sighs> it's take it over me Hi. <laughs> Hi, I get to talk for once this episode. I um, look pretty. <laughs> and this week, on Tuesday, we have the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose monthly meeting, and that's at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. at the Edmonton Inn Conference Center. If you've ever been interested in that organization, or what they represent, or what they do, or where the money goes, or any of those kinds of things, this is the perfect opportunity for you to head down and check out one of their meetings. Mm -hmm. And on Thursday, there's two events going on. Uh, you can head down to Evolution Wonder Lounge for their viewing party of RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag Race. Race Season 10, right? Yes. And uh, rumor has it you can even see Darien Lake. There's a good chance Darien Lake's going to be there. So, anyway, the flights all land right and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're in the mood for, and if you're in the mood for a dinner and a show, mm -hmm. there's also Chicago's mm -hmm. the uh, Fruits and Suits Royal Tea Show that happens every month. Mm -hmm. And um, this this month the theme is the. Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. Uh, yeah, it's hosted by Melinda Verga. Uh, money and uh, is raised again for the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose. Um, and I can tell you from first-hand experience, the food there is just incredible. Um, seriously, some of the best pizza I've ever had. So uh, you definitely need to check it out. Uh, it's wonderful. Good times. Yes. So that'll yeah. be the dinner and the show. Always a great time. On Friday, we have Evo Presents Darien Lake, uh, 9 p.m. showtime, opening acts, Can You Do It, Gigi, and Cinnamon. Gonna be good! Yes. Rob's been trying to get uh, Darien Lake here for a long time, so we are super excited that uh, she is finally able to make it. So yeah, it's gonna yes. be a really good time. We're looking forward to meeting you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Saturday, from West Hollywood, we've got Ray Elitre. Mm -hmm. um, that's at 9 p.m. Evolution Wonder Lounge. Um, Murray Swansby, Swansby, Swanby. Murray Swanby will be there uh, in his well, underwear, and it's not really my thing. He's cute, and he's going to be hosting a underwear strip-off contest mm -hmm. where you could win a $500 <gasps> prize. You could win 500 prize, Ferris. <laughs> Don't worry, that's not gonna happen. Don't don't run run away. Go to the event. There'll be better looking people than me taking off their clothes. Yeah, we want to advertise people. Yeah, to yeah, we want people to go. We're not trying to scare you away. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> and then on Sunday is the May long weekend Dragathon for mental health. Um, in support of Rob and in in support of a awesome charity, mm -hmm. the. Uh, Canadian Mental Health Association of Alberta um, yes. is is uh, 
is an organization near and dear to me and Rob and, and many people in the community. Um, it's also to celebrate Rob's birthday. I think it's 41 this year. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a fantastic time and we are honored to yet again to be asked to be a part of it. Uh, last year we did a big group number and we are doing something uh, also yeah, quite similar to that this year, but uh, exactly. a little more fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be a really good time and uh, full of performers from across the city. Um, it's going to be 30 plus, hopefully. I'm hoping we hit the 41. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's going to be full of amazing performers. So you should definitely check that out next Sunday. It's going to be a really good time. Yes, it sure will. Um, a little bit further down the road, in a few weeks, we are heading to Hay River on June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in our first official Dragging Our Heels road trip. So that's going to be super exciting. Um, Lilith Fair, Alberta's Next Drag Superstar winner, um, Duke Carson, um, Duke. best host, Sister Mary Clarence, um, and our own dear Bambi Dextrous are all going to be heading there to uh, capture all that and put on the show, and it's going to be a really good time. Yes. A little bit further on, booking uh, are already taking place for August Long Weekend of Pine Trails Getaway. Mm. Uh, don't forget to look into that. It's called Back Into... Back, back into to the, the woods. woods. Back to into the woods. Check it out on Facebook, and uh, yeah, book your sites now because they're going fast. Yes. I think that's about it for around here. All right. Um, I have a favor of the week. How yes. About you? I don't know. I do. Um, all right. So my pick of the week was I gotta go. No excuses. It was a fabulous debut number. Like let's be honest. So for the debut and for the competition that was last night, it was yep. my pick. Um. Yeah, um, I I'm going with uh, Shayla Zamoru, um, and and I'm telling you, it was it was, and I'm telling you, it was it was fabulous. And if you haven't watched it yet, you really need to go do so. Um, Available now on Dragging Our Heels. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright pending. Um, but yeah, uh, check out all those videos. We had a yes. really good time checking out those shows. I hope you do too. Yeah. Uh, and, lots uh, coming next weekend and in the future and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye! This week, we've got, um, on Tuesday, the ISCW... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs>